What's going on YouTube? I'm Sky. And I'm Snip. And we're Sky and Snip. And we're, hey. Can yeah? Can you turn around? Why are you, why do you sound what? behind me? What? Jason, are you here? Jason? How far are we? Oh, there we go. Here, here. Oh, here's the jam. I don't want to knock anything over. What's going on, YouTube? What? I'm Scott. And I'm Sniff. And we're Scott and Sniff. And today, I can't see anything. Maybe we should. Today, maybe, we're going uh, to we're gonna do a literally blind. Are you really peeking? I'm peeking. Can you, while you're peeking, can you? I'm just going to let you feel around. What are you looking for? No, there's, there's, a, there's two glasses. Yes. We're doing a blind blind tasting. We're doing a double blind. It's actually further away. Yeah. I'm so scared now it's I'm gonna break to something. Okay, it's to your left. There oh, you here we go. All right, okay. today we're doing a blind tasting. It's double blind. In case you don't think that the blindfolds are working, we're also <laughs> wearing, uh, I think you're wearing not a blindfold. You're wearing I am wearing like, a t-shirt. You're wearing a t-shirt, which is interesting for a Sherpa. And then uh, we've got Glink here in black edition glasses, which are making it impossible to see what's going on anyways. So we're trying a blind tasting because what's, Scott doesn't believe it, but I think that if you take away one sensory I read online, <laughs> yeah. that your other ones become stronger. Immediately. So I don't know if it's like getting super, powers it's like an X-Men. Right, it's like becoming an X-Men, right? So it's oh, exactly the glass. So I assume that all of a sudden we'll be able to tell exactly what kind of whiskey is in this glass. Exactly. All right. So here goes the nose. This is glass number one, right? As some would say, a sniffy sniff. Ooh. Oh my God, wait. This is what I think it is. Do you think it's Larceny? No, I think it's Wilderness Trail Rye. It. <laughs> I just want to know now. I gotta taste it. I gotta taste it. So. It definitely smells like a rye. It's I don't know so if it's Wilderness Trail Rye. No, but it's like rye. sweet rye, though, and that's the thing. It has like such a distinct. Dang, if it's not, it's also very good. Dang, it could be Michter's too. Mm. I think it's Michter's. It could be Michter's 10 Rye. Because it's a little... So I haven't had the oh, that's Wilderness odd. Trail Rye, but compared to the bourbon, I, I, if it is like the bourbon, Yeah, then it's too much vanilla for this to be this is, a bourbon. And this is a little bit watered down, this is weird. like weak. It's not as spicy as it is on the nose. This is weird and I wanna know. I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know about the whiskey like me. I Can mean, it smells fantastic, me? honestly. No, I have Tarzan in my brain. On the palate, it's great. Wait. Well, I would say Jason, on the, do on we have extra water later great. on? On the palate, it's it's boring to you because you it's think not, it's boring? It's not boring, it's just a little weak. I don't know where that dropper is. No, not the dropper. The dropper is somewhere. There's like water. I put water down somewhere. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I have water? The table is somewhere, here it is. Oh my gosh, just turning around, this is oh, daunting. I am not reaching What did stuff. you knock over? I don't know. You broke it? I don't know, it, it didn't shatter. Um, yeah, I think the, I don't know. It's it, it's very vanilla-y, it tastes like a rye. It, it's both vanilla rye. So I think that this is 2019 vanilla rye. What do you mean? Vanilla rye. It's like a from Wilderness Trail? Or no, from... it's a new distillery. It just came out. <laughs> all they all they make is rye whiskey that tastes like vanilla. Okay. Are are we? How are we supposed to figure? Don't, it out? I don't know. Don't un, don't unblindfold yet. Okay, we're not. Wait, did you put the bottle on the, the table? On the table. Oh uh, yeah. So now we can unblindfold. Wait, when do we unblindfold? Whatever you want. Oh, okay. Get out of here! <laughs> yes. It's coffee grain. We love this. That was so weird how vanilla-y it is and how it's got a little wow. bit of spice, like rye spice. That's exciting. So. Holy crap, I, can't, I still can't see. So Nikka coffee grain has always been the bur like. Wait, so what? So, so this is funny. So we did a video of bourbon crossover whiskeys. For, and for the record, we just told Jason, the video guy, just go pick two random bottles. I have 500 bottles to pick from. It could have been anything. We said that this was a bourbon crossover whiskey. Like bourbon. If you love bourbon. This will be easy for you to move over into other types of whiskeys, like Japanese whiskeys or or Scotch whiskey. It's amazing how much like 
bourbon this but like, there's far more spice there's definitely a lot of it the tastes vanilla. like a rye. It definitely there's like, soft that you would think that is coming from corn dang but it's but it's so soft it does remind me of low barrel entry proof rye like that's that's the soft sweetness holy crap that makes Michter's and Wilderness Trail budget Japanese whiskeys. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> for all you people who are like, how do I get Japanese whiskeys for cheap? This is how you do it. This you is buy how you American. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, this is mine. It's so good. I mean, we said it's so good before. I mean, so I, I, I said that it was light on flavor, but it is very, it's very mellow. Uh, I think just using a, a not negative kind of language, but it's... The, the, the spice is what's surprising me. Yeah, on the nose. When I first tasted this, I thought it was just, yeah, it's really good bourbon. There's a lot of good vanilla flavors and caramel, but this had a lot more spice, rye spice in it. Hmm. Yeah, it did. I was, that's why immediately I was like, wait, I know what this is. Oh, man. Wow. Dang, I feel like we did a review and I was like, oh, the lightness of the grain whiskey. But here I'm tasting it and I'm like, it's just like a, a bourbon. Mm -hmm. Dang, that was super cool. That's that super good. Also, didn't gain superpowers. No, not at all. Probably just about the same. Yeah, tasting Son skills. Of That's why anytime people are like, oh, I can taste this and this and that. Yes, if you're sitting down with like one specific glass and you're sitting down with specific flavors and you have a chance to like sit down and actually think about it. Sure, you can taste certain things, but if you're just using your memory to remember a thing that you tasted from whenever, it could be anything. Like yeah. your brain is gonna think of a thousand things, and human memory isn't like a computer where like you, you can recall it exactly. A human, the human brain. Every time you pull back a memory that you had before, you change it every single time because it's this fluid thing. Cool. All right. Next. So where's where's number two? Yeah. Next glass. That was awesome. Okay. Blindfolds. Engage. The glass is off first. Now I'm already blind. Uh, something tells me I should have put the glass closer first. Jason, can I get an assist? Uh, I have a bad feeling. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I'm getting a weird little bit of like urea. Feet? <laughs> Feet. Urine. I get a feeling I know what this is. There's a salty peat going on. Is there peat? I, well, it's a salty... Salty fish? I don't get any smoke or... Well... We need... I need one... I need one hint. Region. You can't get a hint. Region? Yeah. No hints. That would, I mean, no. well, what, what if he gave us a region, a hint region for the, for the Nikka? Okay. He would have said, okay, uh, it's near Tokyo. So this, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's imported into California. Oh goodness. <laughs> this, <clears throat> wow, it's got like, it's got good salinity, but the nose is weird. The nose is which funky. Which is, a, it's funky. That's a good way to put it. Mm. I haven't had a Jura in a long time. Positive mouthfeel is good, salinity is strong, but it still tastes weird. Mm. That's a lot of salinity. I feel like Highland Park, or but which one though? If this is a Highland Park, it's I don't remember any of them being this salty. Maybe Old Pulteney. No, but I don't even Old Pulteney's not this salty. this salty. This is like fish salt salty. Mm. I mean, it's good. I So this, man, I've really got to be in the mood for salt. Are we going to, is the bottle already on the table? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. What is this? Oh, oh Aberlauer. Oh, this is the classic cask. Wow. So when I got this, I don't even remember it being that salty. This is not... Classic Aberlauer. No, I knew it's not classic Aberlauer. I found this in a store in the middle of nowhere, Maryland, and I was like, I'm just gonna grab this because I'd never seen it before. So I was like, why not? I actually grabbed two of them, and um, tasting it not blind, I liked it quite a bit. But why am I getting so much saltiness? It's because this was sweet, and we tasted these side by side, and it's changing flavors. Maybe because I don't remember salinity in this at all. There's not classic like fruit coming from it either. 
There's no classic any Aberlauer coming from it. No. Hmm. And it's a lot lighter than normal Aberlauer as well. What's oh, why? Because you're getting salinity too, right? I'm yeah. not just crazy. No. What's the saltiness coming from? Salty tears that they use to make it with because it's not classic Aberlauer. Salty wow. tears because it's not nice and sherry bombed. This is crazy because this, this elevated blind in my mind and this came down blind. When was the last time you tasted this though? A couple months ago. I don't remember it being that salty though. Mm. Wow. Wow. So what did we learn today? <laughs> Blindfolds don't do anything at all for a blind tasting. They just don't give you superpowers, which I had a feeling. I just didn't want to talk about it, but it turns out to be true. I feel like I can fly. That's not from a blindfold. Oh, That'd be from oh. a cape. Oh, right. You just have to buy a cape. Yeah. So yeah, so, um, all right. Well, this was just weird. Yeah, we just wanted to do something weird, and that's what this video is. So what do you think welcome. about sensory deprivation or taking away one of your senses to try another whiskey? Have you ever gained superpowers from doing that? Have any suggestions on how or when or why? Let us know in whiskey? the comments, and we will respond down below. Nice. Subscribe or Hit die. that bell. Oh, I don't tell people to do, you don't do that. Because no. like, then you get emails, you get inundated. Just subscribe, and then it'll show up in your... Subscribe feed, and when you want to watch it, you can watch it. That's what I do. Hit that bell. Gross. Why is it so salty? <laughs>